Well, the violence, the escalation, it is readily apparent here. As Saskia said, well, what you have to do is literally stick your head out of the window to, to hear these blasts which are now occurring across the periphery of the uh, co uh, conflict line, which is more than 100 kilometers. Uh, local authorities have said that, that violence has fled everywhere, and we have seen it ourselves when we went just, just west of Donetsk to a, uh, uh, to a town there, very close to the front lines where there had been reports of a civilian killed, and all, all we managed to find of him is his bottom half. The incident tragic happened here, just west of Donetsk city. Two shells launched from the Ukrainian side made uh, impact. One there, another crater here, and everywhere here you'll see bloodied bits of clothing. This is uh, a miner's outfit. He was on his way to a, a mine shaft where he works. This is one of the two shells that landed here. Again, we aren't going to spend very long here because there are still uh, incoming shells and explosions that we hear uh, in, in close proximity. We literally spent just a few minutes there. That Even that was beyond, beyond safe, given the uh, quantity and intensity of bombardment there, which is still ongoing. And this is, as I mentioned, happening across the periphery of the front lines here in Donetsk. Uh, a water filtration system, water uh, pumping station, sorry, was, was hit by a shell, leaving tens of thousands without water. Up north in Lugansk, we're also receiving reports that uh, there are difficulties with water, but uh, power station was hit there. This is infrastructure, so somebody uh, must have lined their guns up to hit uh, infrastructure sites. Uh, up there, tens of uh, thousands of people have also lost power at this time when it is very cold. We're receiving reports which we haven't yet been able to verify of intense battles in the south of Donetsk along the, the conflict line there. And again, this is with banned munitions. This is with 120 millimeter mortar rounds. Uh, we haven't uh, heard all that many uh, uh, higher caliber rounds, such as 152 millimeters. Nevertheless, uh, the OSC has confirmed that banned weapons are within uh, the, 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 the line of conflict, within areas that they aren't supposed to be in. And for the sake of balance, this is happening both on the separatist side and on the Ukrainian side. So ceasefire violations are being recorded or conducted by by both sides, the OSC says. As I say, this escalation is, is tremendous and it is apparent. The civilian evacuation is underway. Tens of thousands of civilians, predominantly women, children, uh, the elderly, making their way out of the breakaway uh, republics. They're scared for their lives, for, 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 the, uh, yeah, for the psyche of their children, for their well-being. Uh, and they fear, and the predominant fear here is that uh, things now could be much, much worse than they were the last time this escalation happened.